what's up you guys after she reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to some more stargate sg1 this is season 9 episode 20 this is the season finale um so next week there will be no stargate or gate first because uh we're finishing atlantis today as well um so yeah let's get into the episode also i have a hello kitty shirt it's fluffy <laughs> A weapon capable of destroying ascended beings. Well, I don't need to know ancient to understand what that is. A gate address to where he hid the weapon. Every ally we have and everyone else in this space has already devoted themselves to finding the super gate. Go. Oh, okay, we're entering Camelot. Probably. I don't know. Whoa, that one person is wearing pink and it's just so out of place. Well, it certainly looks like a place where Merlin might have lived. Get too excited just yet. There could be dozens of villages in the area, just like this one. No way to know for sure this is the right one. Well, there's that. Traveler. Oh my gosh. I am Eurek. Welcome to Camelot. Am I supposed to be surprised? Because it was quite obvious, right? Hard to believe that, like, after this episode, we're gonna be going into the final season of SG-1. Arthur defeated Mordred at the Battle of Camlin, after which he and his fellow knights set off to find the Sangrao. That's the Holy Grail. That was long ago, but we know in our hearts that one day he will return to us. Um, you know the people don't live forever, right? I have matters to attend to. Enjoy your stables. Don't you think he would have brought the sword with him? Not at all. It's just that Merlin's name is rarely mentioned in public. Why is that? Well, many believe he was a wizard of darkness. He may have tried to do good, but there was always potential for great mischief in his heart. Thankfully, he has neither been seen nor heard of since Arthur's departure. The library where he practiced his strange arts remains sealed to this day. Merlin had a library here? We'd like to see that. No one must know of my participation in this venture. Got it. Not me, Eric, not my fellow villagers, and most importantly, not my wife, Livia, who believes I am reviewing council minutes with Brother Abelard tonight. We were never here. You're bringing him with you. Yep, this could take a while. This is interesting. This is a, a reference to Merlin's prophetic abilities. There's a, a similar myth on Earth that Merlin could see the future because he actually aged backwards in time. It's not meant to be taken literally, but we have seen that a lot of legends and folklore have a, a strong basis. In fact, Avalon, Atlantis. The Easter Bunny. <laughs> I guess there's a few exceptions. Are you saying that there's time travel technology here? I'm saying there could be anything around here. I hate to break it to you folks, but the only technology I'm seeing is a bunch of dusty old books. And a secret passage. It's not a puzzle, is it? No, it's an ancient control device. What is it control? I have no idea. I really thought that they were going to use the Sodan thingies, like to, I don't know, go to phase to find something. Like, what was the point in all of that then? I've seen this type of interface before. Activating it is a matter of correctly interpreting these symbols. So far this isn't feeling like a season finale. He's dead. Where was he stabbed? There was no stabbing. Hello? Did the fucking knight just look at him and go die and he died? Antonius had it with him when he was killed. You went into the wizard's library, didn't you? And it's possible well, that because he left down. with it, he the knight was the and protecting his you object. Kind of like, um, Pirates of the Caribbean, maybe? Black Knight is not part of any curse. 
He isn't magical and he isn't unbeatable. Your world, as well as countless others, are in danger of being overrun by an enemy far more powerful than you could ever imagine. They are called the Ori. We learned that a long time ago Merlin was working on a weapon that could be used against them. And the key to finding that weapon is inside that library. We have never seen nor heard of these Ori. But we have witnessed the power of the Black Knight. Leave this village. Take the curse with you. Well, we can't just give up. Daniel, we're not exactly welcome here anymore. Don't you see this is exactly what Merlin wanted? Why do you think he designed the Black Knight to attack in the village and not the chamber? To incite terror. I mean, if it just killed whoever was inside the chamber, then there'd be no great public incentive to keep people out. You'd go in at your own risk, and there'd always be someone foolish enough to give it a try. Someone like us. But the point is, that he designed it that way because he was worried that someone might stumble onto the solution, which means there is a solution, and it's inside that chamber. A shut-off switch. Oh, exactly. in the book that he oh, took. Good. I don't know. I felt like Dr. Zeus just then. Give me a little time to talk to this. I just really rhymed. Get... <laughs> Some of them on our side, we might be able to get Merrick to reconsider. You ever try it? Of course not. It is for the young men who are preparing to be knights to test themselves with the sword. It's my brother Ramus will do when he comes of age. But I've seen you spar. You got skills. When Arthur does come back, he will need knights to join him on his next crusade. The men of this village will be ready to serve him. And you're not interested in that. Valencia, leave us. Yes, Governor. You abuse my tolerant nature, Colonel. I take it it didn't go so well. Not really. These men will escort you to the great ring. I'm sure that you leave as requested. Look, you're making a mistake. There is no curse. Now, the Black Knight is a security feature created by Merlin through the use of science and advanced technology. There is no magic involved. <laughs> SG-1, welcome aboard the Odyssey. What's going on? Change of plans. We received a subspace transmission from a Jaffa vessel near P-3Y-229. A fully formed supergate. Stargate Command tried to dial 229 but couldn't get a lock. The planet was probably destroyed in the formation of the micro-singularity. My orders were to pick you up and proceed immediately to the Supergate. Unfortunately, the Daedalus is still in the Pegasus galaxy, but the Corolla will be joining us as soon as possible. I didn't think it was operational yet. It's been rushed into service. We're to meet up with as many Jaffa and Toker ships as we can muster, and then destroy that thing by whatever means necessary. I believe the key to defeating the Ori is on that planet. I know it. Daniel, even if you're right, the villagers are never going to let you back in the library. Then beam me in. All right. I'll go with Jackson. A little quality time. We'll have the Russians swing by and pick you up on the way through. You have until then. So what now? Well, all indications are the Black Knight was activated the second I stepped onto that platform. So my guess is we can shut him down by inputting the correct code sequence on that control panel. Merlin's pen number? Yeah, something like that. That's it. Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. No, uh, I wasn't sleeping. Mm -hmm. I was Kelno reaming. <laughs> Tilk taught me the fundamental. Did he mention you should remain conscious in the process? Yeah, I'm still working on the basics. You got something? Yeah, I've, I've cross-referenced half a dozen passages that mention the Black Knight. Now, there's a series of recurring words and phrases that stand out if you know what you're looking for. Are we talking access code? I think so. What's the matter? Well, if I'm wrong about this, then... No, look, I'll take care of the Black Knight. Yeah, how are you gonna do that again? I will pull the sword from the stone, just like last time. Well, I think we've been over this. This is a completely different scenario. You see, in the Avalon Cave, it was pulling the sword from the stone that caused the knight to appear in the first place. Here, we don't even know if they're connected. We know Merlin put the sword there, right? Probably. Which means it's no ordinary... Merlin's just putting swords everywhere. <laughs> Besides, do we have a choice? No. Thing they used in Antarctica? Uh-oh. Well, uh -oh. nothing happened. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Do you think maybe you need to be out of face to see whatever the hell it is? Oh, boy. Okay, that was a bit over the top. Swinging it around, like, several times. Nope, didn't think so. Pick up this sword. 
Why didn't that chop through you? Out there. Not so good. You stupidly dirty. <laughs> That's a lot of doubloons. Greetings, friend. I am Merlin. Yes, you are. The prize you seek, like the pendulum swing, marks the passage of all that is before you. Maybe it only started working because he took, well, because she took the sword out as well. Not exactly. I don't understand. I got the treasure. I activated the hologram. Greetings. <laughs> Mark the passage of all that is me. Mitchell! Greetings, friend. I am murdered. All that is before you. Greetings, friend. I am Merlin. The prize you seek, like the pendulum swing, marks the passage of all that is before you. Greetings, friend. Receiving a transmission from one of the Jaffa ships. Put it on screen. I am Shara of the Free Jaffa. It was my ship that discovered the gate. I understand there's been no other signs of activity. You should be aware we've already attempted to destroy the gate. Our combined forces had no effect. This pendant. Now, in every depiction of Merlin from his library, I've seen it. And in fact, the hologram message was wearing it as well. But I've never seen it before. Not in any reference material back on Earth. And you think that's the device we're looking for? The riddle mentions a pendulum. Now, at first I thought that was a reference to a, a passage of time, like a pendulum clock. Then I realized it was more literal. Something that hangs. It also said it was right before my eyes. I don't know. Did that seem a little small? Well, just remember, we're talking about things that transcend ordinary space-time here. Relative size has no meaning. Fine, let's start looking. Sir, another ship just dropped out of hyperspace. It's an Asgard vessel. Open a channel. This is Colonel Emerson of the Earth Vessel Odyssey. Yes. I know who you are. Hello, Vasir. Colonel Carter, there is much work to be done. Where is the rest of your team? Daniel and Colonel Mitchell are still looking for the ancient device I was telling you about in our communique. And Teal'c, well, we're not exactly sure where Teal'c is. Flying into our territory in an unmarked cargo ship. I didn't think you were that stupid. I have allowed myself to be captured knowing that I would be brought before you. I have come to seek the assistance of the Lucian Alliance. I take it back. You're not stupid. You're insane. Kill him. I should kill you where you stand. But as I have said, I have come seeking your assistance. The fate of the Galaxy is at stake. Hi. Uh, come on in. Black Knight's not coming back. It's incredible. Yeah. It's all yours. You do not wish to claim a prize for defeating Merlin's champion? Well, there was one thing we were looking for, but we can't find it. Actually, maybe you can help us. Do you recognize this? It is the Sangrao. This is the Sangrao. It's also known as the Bloodstone. Poor song. Blood. Blood red for the color of a jewel. 
Wait, 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 wait a minute. We're, we're talking about the Holy Grail, right? Every movie I've seen, that's a cup. Uh, no, uh, the notion that the, the Grail was a cup or chalice, particularly the one used by Christ at the Last Supper, was a, a late addition to the myth. See, earlier accounts described Bersley as a dish or platter, or in the case of von Eschenbach and other Middle Eastern influenced chroniclers, as a stone that fell from the heavens. If this is what you seek, you might find it among these trinkets. Arthur and his knights left to quest to the Sun Grail long ago. Do you know where they went? But he had it. It is said that in the they journeyed thing. three distant lands mentioned in Merlin's prophecy. Castiana, Sahal, and Vagondre. Any of those spots ring a bell? No, but if they were part of one of Merlin's prophecies, then any one of his books could hold the key to what we're looking for. Jackson, that's days, weeks to find the proper reference, and then there's no guarantee that we're going to be able to track him down. Searching for Arthur's whereabouts in this library is not necessary. Now, thanks to Valencia, we've been given a sign that Arthur will return soon, and you are welcome to stay with us in wait as the men that conquered Merlin's curse, you will be given a place of honor. Look, once and for all, there was no curse, okay? This, this is a device, it's a machine. It's like a, a flour mill or a catapult. It's just a, a lot more complicated. There is no magic. <laughs> Jackson, welcome aboard the Coralette. Are you ready, Colonel Carter? Ready as I'll ever be. Initiating transport. Engaging magnetic lock. I'm removing the panel now. <laughs> I would just be like, whoop, doop, 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 Don't need this one. Don't need this one. To initialize. Sir, we're picking up increased energy output coming from the gate. Something's happening. I've lost my magnetic rock. It's an incoming wormhole. Get her out of there now. It's not working. There's too much interference. Sam, report. Sam. Corlev just dropped out of hyperspace. This is Colonel Chekhov. What is the situation? We've got an incoming wormhole. I suggest you prepare for battle. Bye, bye, Agatonos. Here they come. Four ships. It's probably their first wave. We should see what we can do about this. Oh, well, that's all the ORI that ever existed. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Sir, we're receiving a message from one of the ORI ships. Text only. And those who are prideful and refuse to bow down shall be laid low and made unto dust. Is that all it says? Yeah, that's it. Open a channel? Oh, well, if that's the case, hallowed be the ORI. Then did Tyler say to the people of the Low Plains, Seek not wickedness amongst your neighbors, lest it find purchase in your own house. What was that? Book of Origin. Think it'll help? They're powering up their weapons. All batteries open fire. Sir, we just lost sublight engines. We've lost power. We have to scramble the 302. No, they'll have no effect against that. We're getting our asses kicked. It's time to go all in. I'll drive the fire while you get the go, ship back online. Sir, picking up approaching ships. Better late than never. Indeed.
Okay, so which ship was destroyed? I'm. Which one? Which one is that? I don't know. <laughs> or are they did they both get destroyed? Maybe. Oh fuck! I don't know. Hey, what's up, you guys? Quick interruption here. Um, as you are no doubt aware, these past few years have been tough on all of us. Um, and there are some things that none of us can hide from. Um, the cost of living, for instance, food and things like electricity, gas and water have all gone up and they continue to go up. Um, now, I don't really like to advertise this, but in order to afford keeping the lights on, the camera running, and to be able to provide you guys with new content like this, very edit for example. Uh, I feel I need to let you guys know about how you can help support the channel and myself. I have a Patreon that if you pledge to you're helping support the channel and in return you can get a vast amount of content that you wouldn't regularly get on YouTube such as full unedited reactions to my regular content, a ton of other shows and movies that you probably don't even know that I've reacted to. A link to this can be found in the description below and it really does help the channel by keeping me and my very cute cats alive. Think of the cats. If you're interested, you can also check out our website, which is also linked below. Perhaps there's some shows and movies there that you didn't even know that I reacted to, but you always wanted to see. Please know, pledging is entirely your own choice, of course. You're welcome to stay here on YouTube and wait for the edits to come out. No worries, I'm not going anywhere. More edits are coming. Uh, I understand not everyone is in the position to support creators, but any help is welcome. Anyways, thank you for your continued support, whether it's through YouTube or on Patreon. You guys are the best. Now please, enjoy the rest of the video. Right, um, well, we are fucked. We are losing. We are, we, this is just the season of losing. Uh, go away, you stupid bug. Um... Yeah, no, we... fucked. Um... To be honest... This might have been actually one of my least favourite finales. I don't know, it, was, it didn't really feel that much like a finale until like the last couple of minutes, I suppose. Um... But yeah. I guess we'll see how it all turns out in season 10. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you in the next one.